Today, you're going to learn all about the lost, forgotten, and abandoned backrooms level of level 854. This one is a perfect example of why it is never, ever safe to explore ruins or abandoned places deep inside the backrooms, because you never know what's real or what's fake or what's there. So without any more blabbering from me, let's get into the video, shall we? Level 854 is classified as a class not alive zone. I can't say the real word or YouTube shadow bans my videos. And the level has several fire hazards as well as a very carcinogenic atmosphere, which means it's toxic. And on top of all that, there is a very strange anomalous entity that lives here. But more on that later. The level itself looks like a home that's been burnt down to a crisp and is fully collapsing. The walls are blackened and the ceiling has holes and beams falling through it. And it, it just looks like a gross, disgusting, distorted, broken house. Any regular house stuff like clothes and TVs and beds, all that stuff's gone because it's probably ash on the floor where everything else is. The floor itself is covered in debris and wreckage and it's smoldering and smoky and still on fire in some spots. But now I'm going to explain the layout of the level and how you might be able to explore it and hopefully make it out alive. Again, hopefully. When you get to this level, you'll find yourself in what I think is the living room part of the level, which is on the third floor. The only thing is that this particular part of the level actually looks different to each person that comes here and it never looks burnt or broken. It looks like a series of clean rooms that are all decorated in white. There's places like bathrooms and sinks and bedrooms and just regular house stuff, but you have to not touch anything or interact with anything because, as you might have guessed it, this part of the level isn't even real. An illusion that's been created by the anomalous entity that lives in the shadows here that I mentioned earlier, which again, I will discuss fully in the entity section, but just know that that entity falsely makes the beginning of the level seem safe to lure you deeper into it. So now that you know that the first part's a trap, I'm just gonna explain the rest of the level's layout. So exploring the rest of the level is extremely dangerous. And in fact, it's not recommended to come here at all because of how dangerous the air and the fire and the, everything here is very dangerous. So the level actually is not dangerous because it's big or because you get lost in it. It's actually pretty small as levels go. It's approximately 200,000 square feet, which is about the size of a big warehouse building. But inside of that seemingly pretty small space is where the danger is. All of it's covered in debris and trash and smoky fires, and because of the debris that's piled up everywhere on the floor, it's hard to walk around and explore. It's also really hot too. There are in fact windows scattered throughout level 854 as well, but these windows seem to be indestructible and they're also resistant to the fire here, so you can't break or burn or hop out the window and explore outside, you're just trapped in here. Fully. There also seems to be exactly three floors to this entire house. And you guessed it, it is time to explain how each of these floors is laid out and how you might make it out alive. <laughs> Keyword, might. So on floor three, like I mentioned earlier, is where people start at. And oftentimes that is where that illusion begins, where you'll see the pretty white rooms and no burning stuff. But keep in mind, that's not real. You're being lied to by the entity that lives here and you need to get rid of that illusion as fast as you can. Now, even though it's an illusion, this floor three tends to be the safest floor because there is less smoke and pretty much no fire here. And there's very little debris, but the walls are still covered in scorch marks and the floor is kind of breaking and cracking. And you might also notice the wallpaper here is a weird yellow color, very similar to level zero, which I thought was pretty interesting. There's two bathrooms on this floor, uh, but the toilets are full of a rotten, disgusting goo that apparently stinks really bad. There's also random paintings and pictures on the wall here, and some of the paintings actually look like pretty landscapes. But there are also some paintings of families, with all the family members scratched out of those pictures, which I also find pretty weird. So after you make it through that level, you'll be on floor two, which is the middle floor, obviously. And this is where it starts to get bad because there is smoke 
everywhere literally everywhere there's also debris on the floor and it looks freshly burnt and it stacks up to a few feet high and just it's a really nasty burning place because of the smoke i mentioned there's hardly any visibility past a few feet so there might be something lurking deeper in the smoke who knows the walls here are the same as in floor three and are burning and scorched and there's actually one huge burnt room that seems to be a living room type deal and a couple smaller ones that look like game rooms there's also a room here at the very edge that sort of looks like an attic space where there's insulation open and there's a huge window. This zone isn't as smoky as the rest of floor two and it's actually kind of hard to get to and it might be the layer of the entity that lives here. Now, floor one is obviously the next one, and of course, it is the worst. It's by far the most dangerous one because of all the active fires and smoke, and it's so hot that you might just burn instantly if you're not careful. Now, there is a way to traverse this first floor because the fire that's here and the smoke that's here seems to come in waves. And these waves can be timed out to where you can run and try to get to the exit between the waves. Good luck at that. But there's also so much debris here that it's several feet high and you can just barely see over it, which will make traversing even harder. This floor on the level also seems to be where a kitchen area used to be. It's burnt, of course. And it also seems to be where a workout room used to be as well. Again, all of that is burnt to a crisp, just like the rest of the level. And since this floor is the worst, of course, it's the hardest to breathe here. Just from the heat, there's barely any oxygen and you need to just not come to this floor at all. You need to try to exit somewhere up top, or here's, here's an idea, just don't come to the level. How about that? So now finally, I'm gonna talk about the entity that lives here and possibly controls this level. The entity has been nicknamed the woman, and this entity is an anomalous entity that has the power to cause wanderers to hallucinate. And the example is those white perfect rooms at the beginning. That was a hallucination created by the woman. The woman entity is a feminine looking figure with grossly burnt and wrinkly skin. The entity does everything in her power to keep people trapped in the level by making those hallucinations and making you think that you're safe, when in reality she's just luring you deeper and deeper into the broken and burning debris to get trapped forever. Also, during her hallucinations, she can transform herself into a figure that she thinks would keep you safe. Like she could look like a family member or a friend or something like that from real life, and you would think that you're seeing that real person, even though it's not. All these things are meant to trap you here so she can inevitably eat you, which is, sounds great to be honest. I'm kidding, it sounds awful. I'm sure you're wondering, you know, how does one escape one of these hallucinations and illusions? There's actually been three different methods discovered that kind of work, and the main one is that you just eventually realize that you're being manipulated and you get out of there. The next one is that you confuse the woman entity to stop the illusion. So anything you see in your in your dream or hallucination, you just run up to them and confuse them and it'll stop. But the last one is my favorite method because it's to literally just attack the woman and to fight her off and that'll break the illusion, which would be just hilarious. Imagine running and punching this random entity and then getting out. I would do it to be honest. It's completely not known how this entity came to be or what the extent of her power is or why she traps people in this burning house. But she sounds pretty fun, right? There's no basis here, obviously, because you, you couldn't have a base here or burn, of course. And to enter this level, you have to be on level 853 and go through a door labeled 351, and then you'll get here, which actually is pretty cool because it's not random. You know, you actually have a choice to go here. You have to find that door. You don't have to worry about randomly being sent here. And to exit, you actually have to find the front door on floor one for the easiest exit, which is not really easy, so. Or you could follow that woman entity around until you're sent out because sometimes she might run to a different level to escape you, but yeah. I don't know. This level is a huge burning house. It's controlled by a weird woman that makes you have hallucinations to trap you and burn to death eventually. I mean, that sounds pretty fun to me, right? This is the most normal backrooms level. Hope you liked it.